Okay, so fitting palm clean into your workout is super simple. So say uh, it's near the end of your workout, you wanna burn out a muscle part, right? Um, what you can do, try this, try like max reps to failure, take a one minute rest break in between, cool your palms for that one minute. Start again. Kind of keep going until you know you're you just smoked. Okay, so that one minute break between your kind of max reps. When you get that huge burn, grab your palm cooling device. Okay, again, you know if you have not been training a lot of high volume, you know don't make this your very first time. But again, if you're accustomed to training, just as a be safe here, use your palm cooling because you're going to get more reps and you're going to get more sets than if you had not been using palm cooling between your kind of accessory burnout exercises, okay? So I'm gonna do some biceps <clears throat> and then palm cool. Okay, got your burn, palm cool for a minute, okay? That's all you gotta do. Just hold your device. It's gonna help keep your motivation high. It's gonna help regulate your increasing muscle temperature. It's gonna allow you to do more sets on sequential sets, okay? Just another way to train hard, but also to train smarter. Take advantage of your palms and the ABA is below, the arterial venous anastomosis, okay? That's a special network of veins and arteries in the palms of your hands that are meant for regulating temperature. So take advantage of that during rest breaks, during timeouts, during halftime, any break in the action, whether it's a workout, a competition, training, take advantage, okay? Another set. Okay, another big set down. More palm cooling during our rest. That's it guys, super simple. Cool your palms between sets. Increase your work volume and improve your gains. Break past plateaus and improve your overall performance by delaying the onset of fatigue.